I'm here at Fresh Layers. These dipsticks think it takes some sort of special expertise to install paint protection film on a car. I'm here to show you that anyone can do it. We're here to show you that anyone can't do it. <laughs> so Martin, what's this all about? Right, this is about paint protection film today. As you know at Fresh Layers, we're a paint protection film specialist. Um, we've been doing it for a long time. Um, there's a few companies popping up that think, well basically they sell a paint protection film and they let you fit it at home. There's also a few companies that sell it online and you can have a go at it yourself. We want to set you the challenge of installing the PPF yourself and see what the end result's like. Right, so today we've got Mercedes A-Class in. We picked this car because it's fairly small, compact and very popular. Um, we think this will be a fairly nice car for John to try. Anything exotic like a Porsche, Ferrari, a Lotus, they're gonna be a very difficult challenge for someone. So we wanted to give him half a fighting chance. That's why we picked this car. Right, John, here's all your kit. Here's your instructions. Here's your film. You reckon you can do it in two hours? Good luck, I'm off. All right, guys, they're gone. They've left me to it. I'm gonna start. Step one, clean. How hard can that be? Let's get this shot on the road. Okay guys, the car is washed. Before I dry it off, I'm gonna clay bar the front of it um, to remove all of the tiny bits of dirt that are stuck on there, and I can still feel it. I can feel the paint is quite contaminated, actually. So important. It will get off any bits that are not got off in the wash process. Um, this is the best point to mix up my slip solution, which you can use as clay lube, and um, also helps you position the, the PPF, I think, and my tack solution, which is there to lock it down. So the tack solution is um, IPA and water, and the slip solution is some baby shampoo thing and water, so it should be, should be okay. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and lube up the bonnet. So look, this is a nightmare to handle these. You need a really huge, um, you need a huge area. So what I'm gonna do is put the slip solution down all over the bonnet, like it says. I'm just gonna plaster it. Get it on there. Lube her up. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm going to run out of slip solution soon as well. Look, he's laughing, he's laughing, <laughs> he's laughing. He's laughing. Right, that's all lubed up. This is going to be an absolute nightmare. appreciation to my skills. Um, so I reckon I've got it lined up here. Like I've got it roughly lined up. I've got to retack these. And I've got a good amount going over the edge. And I think I've got it lined up here on that far bit. I don't know if that needs to be stretched a little bit and that, if that should be in the middle. Um, that might need to be stretched a little bit. Yeah, and I've got to be careful with that gap. So when I tack that, I need to get that bit better. 
just get a little bit better here, but I've got it on. So that's the hardest bit done. Right, I'll go over to time lapse now. just had an epiphany. It was getting a bit dry and sticky and I, I didn't have enough slip solution on the top. And I was being a bit too like soft and gentle with the film and like panicking about it. But you get that slip solution on it and then you can just like, you don't have to panic, you can just like slide it down and just slide your edges down and it all slides and just work all, the, all your bubbles out. Okay guys, so things were going really well. Like the, the panel is well positioned, most of the bubbles are out and the edge is ready to be like tacked and squeegeed and heated up and poked in and all that sort of stuff. And it's looking pretty good. However, now I've dried the panel a little bit with a the microfiber, there's a problem. There's a big problem. And I'm not sure if the camera is gonna be able to pick it up, but this is really difficult. But like, where's my finger? You see that? It's like contamination, but it's, it's absolutely everywhere. There's another one there, but you, you just won't see them on camera unless the focus comes in right. And literally, they're all over the um, paintwork. So I'll show you them with my finger, and then when the camera focuses in, you can probably just about see them. There's another one there. Another one there, another one there. And Okay, and if I come over here, look, there's one there. Um, another one there. Look, there's ones here. Uh, come on, focus, yeah. Well, trust me, there's one here and here. You can just about see it. And the more you look, the more there are tiny dots of contamination on the paintwork. And I've had to lift the film up several times to take off some big chunks that I've seen. Um, but here's the thing, I clayed the hell out of that. Like it was, it was clayed and it was all smooth and silky. So that contamination are tiny little dust specks in the air that have somehow got onto that panel. Uh, and I, the problem is, I don't know what I could do differently to stop that. Uh, it's all been squeegeed and cleaned in here. I think it's to do with how you put the film down if you're not like sucking in the air or something. Why is that all going dark? So I've hit a problem. So, it's the end of the day. The good news mm. is, the PPF film is down, kind of. The bad news is, this is not an acceptable... What are you doing? <laughs> Hold on. I can't have this on my wife's car, mate, sorry. <laughs> this is not an acceptable standard. You could not give this to a customer, could you? What's your marks out of 10 for this installation? Um, yeah. It's hard, mate. I would probably give it a three, four. It's not bad. <clears throat> no, I mean, the thing is, you've got it down, um, but 
there's just way too much contamination in it. Yeah. None of the edges are down. You've obviously found it, you know, found it fairly difficult, but yeah. you've enjoyed it, haven't you? I've enjoyed it. I thought I would be able to get this down, <laughs> but I didn't think it'd be this difficult, guys. The biggest problem that they do not tell you about this is the contamination. You can wash everything. You can have this squeaky clean. You can clay the hell out of it, but there's dust in the air. Bear in mind as well, we're very clean in here. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about prep and it's a skill. Yeah. So I, when I put the first piece down, I was convinced I wasn't going to get any contamination because I put it on top of the bonnet, I pulled the sheet out and it's absolutely plastered in tiny little dots. So many, if you see it in the right light, you'll, it just looks like there's loads of pins in it. So that's a real disappointment. The second thing I really struggled with was the edges. So getting these edges to stay down, so they just spring back up. And I think I got the mixture maybe wrong, maybe a little bit too, um, too much slip solution. Even though you followed the instructions. I did, yeah, yeah. But I might have just put, it was like, you know, I might put a little bit too much in. And alignment, how would you feel? This is a good kit. The alignment was the best thing. <laughs> Right, okay. That's about the only thing I could get half decent. It doesn't look it. Well, it, look, it's not bad. <laughs> no, it's not bad. That's it's not, all, all yeah, it's, it's not, it's not good. We haven't, yeah, quite, haven't quite finished. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, guys, um, there is no way in hell I would try and do this at home. There is no way. Um, it has been fun. I have learnt a few little things about PPF and I could get it better. I could go from a three out of 10 next time to probably a four out of 10. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe more, maybe a, a bit five. of practice, but it takes a lot. It does take a lot, but yeah. So conclusions, if you're gonna have PPF, you really need to pay the money, have it done properly. These guys, I've seen the work they do, and um, there's an art to it, there's a knack to it, there's an experience to it, and you can't just take it and do it yourself. You can't, you might be able to get it down. And that is the best. If you get it down and get everything tucked in, you know, forget about the dots, forget about the bubbles, you've, you've done all right. Yeah. It looks easy, but there's a couple of things you need to know that, that they don't tell you. And the contamination thing is really important. The edges as well, heating the edges. Um, I did, to be fair, I didn't really, I wasn't great at following the directions of which numbers to go through. And you need to do that or else you'll get like little fingers that you can't get out and pop up. So this is a difficult thing, guys. My recommendation is, yeah, do not try this. Because however cheap this is, and I don't know, we've just wasted that money. That's got to come off. So whatever this costs, five, 600, 700 quid, it's gone. It's going off the car and it's done nothing. Um, so yeah, there we go. Thanks, John. Thank you, Martin. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs>